Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Fly UK's livery again for the Airbus A320neo and we're heading into Tegucigalpa, uh, Tonkontin in Honduras. Mike Hotel Tango Golf for the uh, four letter code. And we'll be throwing ourselves into the RMP approach for runway 02, a notoriously difficult approach. So this is going to be a little tutorial explaining it the way that I can in the best way I can for you guys uh, so you can give it a go. If you're new to the channel, very warm welcome to you. Please do click the subscribe button down below and check out flyuk.aero, great virtual airline for people to get involved with and it's uh, free of course. So at the moment we're just coming in over the coast and uh, we've got a little while before we get to Tonkontin itself. I'm going to note early on that in Microsoft Flight Simulator we need to go to flightsim.to and download a mod for the airport and it removes a big block of flats at the end of the runway so before you throw yourself into it please do make sure you've downloaded that mod um, because if you have to go around for any reason it's likely you might not miss the block of flats at the end uh, but that's Microsoft Flight Simulator for you. Tricky approach and transition altitudes at uh, 19,000 feet and we've got about 80 or 90 miles to go before we get there so let's look at how we set up for the arrival in the flight plan then we're coming in via Corti and uh, we're heading in via the coast to Talag which is our uh, entry point for the star and uh, then heading to Melvo and then all the rest of it is the Arnav circular approach through the terrain and uh, then a visual final turn that we all know from watching those historic uh, YouTube videos of uh, American Airlines 757s swinging in and uh, going wings level at the very last minute so it's a, it's a good approach to do, quite fun. We need to get the very latest meta for Tom Contin and to select the uh, and to select the runway itself and the approach you want to go into your destination go to arrivals and you want to go for Arnav 02 and we're flying the Corti 1 arrival via Talag and uh, with Vias we want to make sure according to the charts we go in via Melvo TNT is the Tonkontin VOR and that's at the south side of the airport so if we're coming in via the south uh, i.e. via Vitan as a waypoint then we want to select TNT but because we're coming in from the north it's important we select Melvo and then we insert it So, just going to get uh, our weather data, and it's uh, we're in live weather today when I'm recording this, and the weather's not particularly great. Uh, so we're throwing ourselves into it. It's probably the murkiest uh, day that I've actually tried this approach. Broken cloud at 2,600 foot. Uh, interestingly, the decision height's 4,429. So. I'm going to give it a go, but uh, obviously that's below the minimums technically, according to that. QNH uh, or altimeter is 3015 or 1021 in uh, European money. Temperatures 19 degrees Celsius and uh, winds 020, which is nice at 4 knots straight down the runway. Transition altitude from the charts was 19,000 feet and our MDA according to the charts for the arrival uh, 4,429 feet. So uh, let's have a little look at Navigraph. Here we go. So these are the charts and uh, we're coming in via We're coming in via the Talag 1 arrival, which isn't in the simulator. 
um, the simulators we've only got two options as we've just had a little look at we're coming in via Talag we have to be at or above 10,000 and then Melvo at or above 9,000 and if we're coming in via Vitan we'd be then heading to the Trent uh, we'd then be heading to the Tonkont in VOR and we have to be at or above 8,000 as that shows there and there's a couple of other approach options as well heading to the approach page then for runway 02 if we were coming in from the south which some of you guys might choose to do depending on your routing you fly in via Vitan over Tonkont in VOR and then you fly this uh, looped procedure this uh, complete circle almost um, and then you fly the little uh, visual turn at the very end uh, along the train but we're coming in from the north today so we're coming in via the initial fix of Melvo at 9000 and then we're heading in round the train through the valley descending as we go to the Tonkontin VOR which we're going to tune shortly at that point when we get to TG011 we'll have probably already gone to uh, autopilot off uh, we'll be flying it manually and then we're going to do that sweeping turn to get wings level right at the last minute you can see at the bottom here we've got a glide path angle of 3.5 degrees from TG015 and that's here so we need to make sure we're at 7000 by that point and then with the RNAV approach select approach mode and then we descend with uh, track FPA in the Airbus which is really helpful for us today 3.5 degrees glide path angle and we then have to check our altitude off as we get to TG014 make sure we're at 6776 roughly or not below and uh, then swim around TG013 6236 and so on and there's our MDA at the very bottom 4429 feet or on the run out 1148 feet and the runway visual range 2.6 kilometers apparently um, which we have got today interestingly for the missed approach we have to climb and intercept the lateral navigation and maintain the RMP track max 175 knots and re-engage LNAV by TG011 so missed approach we've got to then fly over the runway basically and then out through the valley following these RNAV waypoints back up to Melvo where we'd probably then be expected to hold a couple of other options of course we've got the VOR approach here which we could do but uh, not quite the same the RMP runway 02 they're the two tricky ones and as I said earlier we're going to do the RMP 02 from the north which is uh, what we've just discussed if you guys give this a go please do let me know how you get on in the comments below into the Radnav page then for us uh, we need to put in the VOR for Tom Contin 112 decimal 3 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the final approach course of 019 which is at the top there so we have a physical needle that's helping us basically we're going to come in via Melvo and then we're going to head round the valley so we can kind of see it all starting to come up here now so here we go then just about to enter via Talag and uh, we'll have a quick look at Navigraph again just as a reminder of what to expect so I have changed the altimeter back to hectopascals because there's a little note on the charts that says altimeter set HPA and uh, that's the, what we're going to be doing then so from Melvo 9000 feet TG 017 8000 TG 15 we have to be at 7000 and then we're entering this procedure now at about TG 017 I want to be at 180 knots and I'll probably be selecting flaps 1 at that point however in Sobo's sim update 3 it's uh, quite significantly broken the way flaps 1 seems to work so there's a shit, like there's a severe amount of drag from flaps 1 so for this tutorial you will see me flick quite quickly to flaps 2 to get rid of that issue so uh, just brush past that you just set up as you would normally so it'd be flaps 1 first stabilize that bring the speed down TG015 you probably want flaps 2 and then TG014 flaps 3 and so on gear down etc also one thing to note um, 
Well, I've got Navigraph data installed. However, once we get to TG015, the sim actually wants to keep us going in a straight line, straight towards this bit of terrain here, and bringing us into conflict with it. It doesn't, for some reason, allow this continuous curve with the nav data that we've got for Tom Contin. So I won't activate approach phase at this point. I'll leave it in selected heading mode, and I'll be managing the descent using the autopilot. The, uh, using the autopilot. Once we get TG011, by that point we'll be tracking the VOR of course and we'll have gone to manual control and be looking for the runway. Final preps then, just as we're about to hit Talag in 5 miles. 2000 metre runway, auto brake low will be sufficient and we want ground spoilers armed. We can see our decel point there. We can go ahead and hit approach phase and the aeroplane is starting to slow itself down. From Talag as well, we're going to want now to trigger 9,000 feet by Melvo, and uh, we're back into cloud. Of course we are. Being Microsoft Flight Simulator, if you go through cloud, it's, it's advisable to get your anti-icing switched on, of course. And we're breaking through. Tom Contin is uh, kind of off through the valley down there, ahead of us. I'll be working through quite a few bugs today that we've got in the uh, Fly by Wire mod, thanks to Sim Update 3, and I'll be working with what we've got basically. So that speed is slowly coming down, level at 9000, and you can see from what I was trying to explain a minute ago. We've got TG15, but no TG14. We've got uh, R249er, which the sim seems to have put in itself. And you can see what I mean there, it goes in a straight line. We want to try and manually fly a curve between TG015 here and TG013, which is here. Uh, and then we want to sort of manage that as best as we can. Back into some cloud. The weather is absolutely on the minimums today, so I'm not quite sure what to expect when we get in. Uh, I tend to try and film these in one hit. We've got terrain mode on. We've got VOR one tracking. Twenty miles to tra to Ton Contin. So in a second, when we turn at Melvo, I'm going to go flaps one. However, because of the bug, I'm then going to need to select a speed of 180 and uh, then I'm going to have to go straight to flaps 2 quite quickly in order to be able to manage this. So, bear with me on that. Naturally, you'd go to flaps 1 yourself. Or I could go to flaps 1 and I'll show you guys the bug actually. Uh, so, I'll show you what we're dealing with at the moment and what's trying to be fixed from the latest update. So we'll go flaps one now just to show you as we pass Melvo. Initially we get a nice de uh, deceleration but then suddenly it becomes quite severe. And to hold 185 knots what you'll find in a second is uh, we need to pretty much consistently maintain 90% M1 which is really broken. Thankfully, we are descending. That helps us somewhat. We want to go to track FPA mode now, so we hit the button between the two autopilot switches and we turn the flight director off. And now we've got the bird in the PFD instead. Ton Contin is through there. Can't quite see it, it is a little hazy. I'm hoping the cloud stays clear because that would be ideal for us uh, as we go in. Yeah, so we're descending and we're at 73% and 1 with a 3 degree flight path angle. So you can see the bug here. This is flaps 1 by the way, so I'm trying to do it properly uh, to help you guys out. Make sure I've got my charts ready. Let's bring that right into 10, shall we? 
Our next target from TG017 is TG015. We have to be at 7,000 feet. So I'm going to go flaps 2 now at TG017. You can see the difference in drag there from the uh, the bug. It's quite significant. And let's arm that. Ordinarily, when we get to TG015, which is next, I would press approach mode. However, if I do that, currently it will force me to go straight in a straight line towards R249 and therefore a load of terrain. We want to fly through this uh, gap, if you like, which you can kind of see. Uh, we want to fly through that gap in a smooth arc round to TG013, um, where we need to be at 6,236 feet as best as we can. Holding the F speed quite nicely. And uh, there's the airport actually. You see it just off in the distance there. So thankfully the cloud's broken somewhat for us. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on manual heading select because of uh, the arc that we're about to try and fly. And we're level at 7000 pretty much. So I want to now select our minimums which is 4,400 and initially just because of the way the sim seems to work at the moment instead of going straight to a 3.5 degree flight path angle I'm actually going to select 3 degrees for now. We're passing TG015. I've got visual to the ground I'm going to turn the terrain map off just to help us and I'm going to start to fly um, try and follow there's a bit of a river or like a, like a windy path if you like that takes us down here and we're kind of try and sort of fly that if, if we can to TG015 to D TG013 sorry if I activated approach mode press the button there for the Arnhem approach what we would get at that point is uh, quite a significant um, change in the flight plan let's go flaps 3 and technically we're on finals and we're only a few miles away so gear down 9 miles to go and we're actually aiming to fly you see the weave here and it takes us down through the valley so that's where we're aiming to sort of go And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave us on uh, manual heading select. Because the sim, uh, oh there we go, it's refreshed itself, TG013, good stuff. I'll go back to managed, see what it does. And I'm going to select approach phase now. TG013, altitude check. And again, what the sim's doing is uh, the flight path angle doesn't seem to be quite correct. Um, we're coming here ever so slightly below, so uh, I'm going to force us to level off a little bit. We'll descend at maybe, we'll do 0 0.5 for now, and I'll go full flaps. back into a bit of a descent and uh, we can actually see the airport there which is good the runway starts kind of here 
and it's about to get extremely busy for us. We've got a target uh, 9000 when we go back to Mr. Broach. At this point I'm going to go manual control. And I'm going to make use of the VOR now. So I'm going to fly directly towards that. 4144 feet for TG011 uh, which we're just about to meet. There's the airport. We can kind of see the runway. Continue. And the VOR is kind of on this hill here, so we fly up towards it. And then when we're ready, we're going to have to start this sweeping turn. And altitude looks okay for the time being. We're at 4,300, maybe a little, uh, little high. There's the threshold. And turning. Normally I'll turn when the pillar here touches this corner. That seems to help quite significantly. And uh, reverse thrust. And break into vacate here. Naturally you want to make sure that you uh, touch down on the actual touchdown markings. I was a little short of that to be fair. Um, but give it a go, let me know how you get on in the comments below. Hopefully you don't get the uh, weird micro freezes that we just had on touchdown either. It's uh, another issue with the sim and it all gets quite frustrating sometimes. But there we go. Touchdown at Tonkontin for the Arnav Runway 02. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to click subscribe and uh, give it a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. Thank you for watching.